Hi, and welcome to TerraCorp's eLearning Center. As some of you may be aware, FinCEN now has a new requirement for filing your CTR reports. Now, CTR reports, of course, are those currency transaction reports that are, you must file with FinCEN for every transaction that totals over $10,000 in a given day. The uh, difference between the way you used to file them before and the way you file them now is that now they require it to be done electronically, whereas before you would fill out a paper form and mail it to them. Well, they don't accept that paper form anymore, so TerraCash now supports the ability to create the electronic format that you need and then upload it to their servers. So what we're going to show you here today is how to do that from within TerraCash. Now there's a few steps to this process, most of which are done on the FinCEN end, but the first couple of steps are going to be done within TerraCash. Now if we look down here, we know we got a sample customer here that's already cashed $10,000 today, over $10,000. So what we're going to want to do is go up to Reports, and we're going to create an electronic CTR. So you just click on that button gives you a date range, you can specify whatever you want for today's example, we're just going to use today. OK that, and it's going to bring you up the directory and where it created the file. Now this is the file that it created, this is the directory structure up here where it put that file. Now you'll notice it's under the C drive, program data, TerraCorp, TerraCache, BSA filings. You're going to want to note that because this is where you're going to need to go when you add that file to the FinCEN PDF. So for now, we're going to go ahead and close this. Here's another thing you'll want to note after you do this. Number of forms processed, one. That's a question on their PDF file, so you're going to need to remember that. So we're going to OK this. Now we've got our file created, and we know how many forms we've processed in that file. Now we've got to go to FinCEN's site. So here I've created a quick link to the BSA e-filing test site. You can create a quick link yourself, but you're not going to the user test system. You're going to be going to uh, the actual production system. Um, FinCEN can provide you with that URL if they haven't already. You're going to log in, as you normally would, to the FinCEN website. And then you're going to want to scroll down this list of different things you can click on here, this list of links, and you're going to want to find the new reports header. And inside of that new reports header, you're going to find a file batch FinCEN CTR. Now, this is you're going to be filing a batch file with FinCEN of the currency transaction report. So we're going to click on this. That's going to bring us up a web page, again, on the FinCEN website and we're going to want to open a new form. That's going to launch their PDF document uh, reader. Now this PDF document reader has to be embedded in Internet Explorer and it can only be Internet Explorer. You cannot use Firefox or Chrome or any of the others. So Safari for example. Um, and this is as per FinCEN. This is not our requirements. This is FinCEN's requirements. Okay, so now that we've got their form opened here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to give this a name. So we're going to call it CTR Report for 11-22-2012. Okay, now here's all of the lists of uh, things. Now here's where that form number of forms in the batch is. That's going to be very important because if you don't put the right number in there, uh, then what you're going to get is a warning. Uh, when you try to process it, but you're not going to get it right away, they're not going to tell you immediately you put the wrong number in there. What they're going to end up telling you is that uh, they're going to send you an email telling you that you've put the wrong one in there. You don't, or the form number mismatch, for example. So we're going to make sure we put one in here, and then we want to add that file that we just created. Okay, so we're going to go to that directory the BSA filings, select that file to upload. Okay. Now we scroll down a little further, we've got to sign this. So we're going to put in our title and we're going to sign it with our PIN. Now the PIN number is going to be one that, that FinCEN gave you. So this is going to be a number that you have to know yourself. So you'll put in your PIN and you'll sign it 
and then you'll see the save button becomes active. You'll click the save button. It'll ask you where do you want to save this particular PDF for your records only. Um, you'll never need to use this file again, you, but you might have to someday in the future resubmit it, so it's good to give it a name. You can still save it in the same BSA filings directory, that's fine. Save that. And now you're all done with this. It's already been submitted. After you actually take it out, you got to click on the submit button after you've saved it. That that becomes highlighted, and then it'll give you a confirmation number. Uh, you can print this out for your own records in case you ever got to contact FinCEN. Otherwise, we can close this, and it'll close all those windows. And we can close this, and we're all done with e-filing for that CTR report. So the next time a customer comes in. I believe you can file these monthly instead of on a daily basis. Um, TerraCash will automatically check at the end of the day if you have that option selected um, to remind you to file a CTR report if you've got any that meet the criteria. If you don't have that already in there, then you can uh, come up here and on your miscellaneous you can click this check remind me on close if CTRs are due and then every time you close TerraCash if you if there's a CTR to be filed that you haven't filed yet it's going to remind you that should cover it for filing BSA uh, you will get a uh, email notification as I just did that's that little noise you might have heard in the background there um, it's an email confirmation notating that they got your filing um, and then shortly thereafter sometimes the next day or maybe a couple of days or even sometimes within the hour you'll get a confirmation another confirmation email from them saying whether it was accepted if it was accepted with warnings or if it was rejected entirely because something was wrong and that should do it for this particular uh, lesson on filing CTR report through the new BSAE filing system hope you learned something and if you have any questions certainly like always give give us a call and we'll help you out to the best we can otherwise if you've got specific questions for FinCEN about how any procedures or any uh, additional questions you may have that we didn't cover in here then I would recommend that you contact FinCEN they have a help desk uh, that will be more than happy to answer your questions thank you have a great day